Let's talk about Kemet. Firaun la mulu. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ako naya kodi ibinalale. Parakura ngi mfutatale. Alhamdulillah mbote kalama juna. Na gambia dingon le bajonta nyoka nge kafolo ka wasu nyina ka kontan nyina ko etole banke misile mulute. E ko etole be firaun le tentu la ka jayi katun wuli doku baleke itol malla prophet muhammed sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la iko muskamalati iko mu bandiyolati iko mu faniya folalati andu itol kono ji dul malla ko junu bo sotata anim barajo ikono je dul ko nim fatante wulida ikono je to doluko ni fata ijuso fenne ba domola doluko ala fangole man soto fereng nani ngambe dindi ngol ye kafole lo e dunta kono but different belief le bibulo hani nyin daji ko e kafo mi e homosexuality ku meri mbale mari fira una nyolo ka nganya ndile fira una nyolo ka kele musu ni musu keninke bi na gambia dingol le lota e ko ka fira una nyol tentu ke jayi pour ka mulu samba jalambato ideology ko no fira una nyol ka jalango le tama bi ka jalango le bato jalamballe be bulu egypt kemet wuluta nan egypt le pyramids ya kemet le ya build wo kemet munam woti mo fin land mo fin banko ya moy kemet fiwa so kemet mean black land pyramids egypt jalambal mil bije e ka fo mi lucifer jalango do bije ka kuma de lucifer ya sound le ya samba america wala sabo america la 1 bill dollar ni ala sayno jibe e ka tar pyramids bije because firauna nyolu ika jalangol le batu ika jalangol le tamandi so ika nyi minja tenting abe dola bala abota ijiple nyi firauna mimu jalam batu lati firauna nyolu kunu kabribe ijamani la keninke ika nganya wolale o muy niyo se wonde rawleti yi dumi la bunko no keto ye fe ye fanna ye fe ye fanna foyeji musol fana musu dam mangul ye fe anyola foyeji bi na gambia dindi ngol le kafolo e koy kana gambia le kam bondi islamo kono kan ke kemet dingoluti woto kam murundi kemet miro le kono wala min de kono ko fira u nanyol muy tol mama fololeti so alinga wol tentu ngi jayi e bota islamo kono le foy ka wasu wala ka kufang ni koy koy tam misilma ante man kem misilma tinta man kem misilma ti ka kufa wala e ke lay ka suto si no no ko no dan nimbe dunna deep mbatu nga nanga video tandila fira una nyol e kaminke ka fe e fanna angalir ka fo mi e masturbation ke wa fa masturbate muso ya fa masturbate o to muso ni muso kenen ke because fira una nyol e tol man junu be longani baraji e mantar lare nyin na ko ni fata be wullale ni scientist ya londo be e ko ya bondi fira una nyol le jamanu la wolle ni scientist ya londo kis kis so wul ko la kis kis rote min soto je wolam de ko hada ma dingo mun ne cholati ni fata te wulila e ka falin ne ko nyaamo wala belief be bon na gambia dingo lo lo tay ka fodo e ko fira una agenda e tol be wolato ye bo muslim ya to e ko no jeto dol ko nim fatan te wulila e ko no jeto dol ko ala man soto e ko no jeto ko ha ala bi jele bar anabi yo man soto dol ko ha ala bi jele bar nim fata fana man ko min ko ni yo be muruna ala ya fende bi ni ju so do mola te malo ni lo ke mira nyadi de sambe min kala ngatela agenda to
bizarre and sometimes disgusting sexuality should definitely be more well known. Sacred masturbation. Ancient Egypt, like a lot of the ancient world, was far more liberal Allah Allah sexual Allah. topics than modern societies. Ancient Egyptians were so liberal, in fact, that sex and masturbation were a core part of their religion. According to their religion, masturbation is what actually created the world. The story goes that before the world was created, there was nothingness, similar to most other ancient creation myths. In this nothingness, the god Atom masturbated. Once he finished, two other gods were created, and from there the entire universe was formed. Strange contraceptives. With such a saucy creation story, it only makes sense that the ancient Egyptians enjoyed sex a lot more than other ancient civilizations. Just like how modern people enjoy sex purely for the act, ancient Egyptians fornicated for pure pleasure. But how would they prevent unwanted births in absolutely disgusting ways? Condoms made from intensities were commonplace, as was spermicide made from tree sap. Most disgusting, however, was what some women did. In an attempt to prevent sperm from reaching an egg, ancient Egyptian women would occasionally take feces and shove it into their vaginas as a contraceptive. Thankfully, that practice died out in the modern day. Ancient porn. Taking a turn to something less disgusting, did you know that ancient Egyptians actually used porn? Porn may be seen as a more modern invention, but it has existed for millennia. Take the Venus of Willendorf, for example, a prehistoric figurine of a rather curvy woman. In ancient Egypt, meanwhile, there's a scroll called the Turin Erotic Papyrus. It depicts a man and a woman having sex in a variety of ways. Some historians think that it was more political satire than porn, yet others disagree. Regardless of your viewpoint, you have to admit, this may be one of the first instances of the DILF. I mean, just look at that guy's boldness. So far, we've covered some absolutely strange facts about how the ancient Egyptians viewed sex. From religious masturbation to literal feces being used as female condoms, the Egyptians certainly had some strange sexual views. We haven't even scratched the surface though. Keep watching to learn more disgusting facts about ancient Egypt. Min and his erection. Masturbation created the world according to the ancient Egyptians. But did you know there was an ancient god with a permanent hard-on? The god Min was a male fertility god to the ancient Egyptians and was associated with things like Egyptian lettuce, which was viewed as an aphrodisiac. His most striking feature, however, is his permanent erection. Men would visit temples of Min and offer him phallic-shaped objects and rub his erection in carvings of the god. The practice actually continues today in some instances. It's almost like the ancient Egyptian form of Viagra. Mummy sex. Picture ancient Egypt in your head. What do you see? Do you see mummies? Probably. Of course, one of the main things people know about the ancient Egyptians was their emphasis on the afterlife. But not all Egyptians respected mummies. According to Herodotus, an ancient Greek writer often called the father of history, there were actually instances where embalmers would engage in necrophilia with mummies. Of course, this was heavily frowned upon by Egyptian society. And if an embalmer was caught, he was deprived of his title. To prevent things like this from happening, some families would go as far as to let corpses begin rotting before sending them to be embalmed. Cleopatra's Bees Cleopatra is an absolute legend in Egyptian history, especially for how promiscuous the queen was. Some of her exploits include hooking up with most famously Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, but she had other ways of indulging herself. A rumor has long persisted that Cleopatra would actually use bees as a vibrator. The story goes, Sai kanan dingolu fangolu hondu kanna kordalu target kaduna kordalu kono kaduna society lu kono kadino julo kuntum kumal kono kan jamfandi alala ikoyto be damen to wolemo kesoti fira una balanta alala ako ana rabb komo ala kate mo alala ti o fira una kilemo ka wolete tentu ka jai nko yira history jere nyinemo 
kedin ke muslim musu junubo e malala baraji ko e dateje e ko ni faata te wulla hadama de ngo kafalin nan ko nyaamo e ko kanan na gambia la kan ningol hakilo ko no posin to ka julo ko to pat na jam fa alala e tolbe laare min ne ko le mokke soti min tolum ma mole min do ku ya tu jam wol faata min kan e ko mu ne leti ha e ko be la korda bula la nyule dunna o to ke la mo nyule la kabule no bismillah alma alena alkanda